Hey there everyone, the gerbil here with a theory crafting team building video. Then this footage is actually one year old. This is old, 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 but it's still kind of fun. So Jan Ursa gets pooped on a lot, but she's one of my favorite tunes because of this move right there, which revives all rebels if she scores a crit and passes a 100% turn meter to an ally, which in this case is Cara Dune, who's gonna give another AOE, removing 50% turn meter from all enemies and stunning the empire. Now this Cara Dune against a Relic 3 Darth Revan, Relic 4 Sith uh, Emperor, is not eternal, but Jim Simper. My Caradoon's only four star gear 10, and we're gonna pull this off. Of course, Thrawn is in this team because he passes 100% turn meter also to get it back to Jin or Cara Dune to, to do their turn meter manipulation. But in this situation, I'd rather fracture that Darth Revan, which is more of a threat. Now, R2-D2 stuns on his basic, and so does Thrawn if modded right, and mine is not modded right at this point in history. So the idea is with uh, Jin Erzo and C-3PO being insanely fast tunes as they already are. I mean, they're among the top 15 in speed, I think, uh, and you can mod them faster and people forget that C-3PO's kit gives them a bonus 20 speed also. So the, the idea is simply to open up with Jin, pass a turn meter to Kara, Kara does the AOE turn meter reduction, Thrawn passes the turn meter back to uh, to Kara Dune or to Jin. Jin can do the trenching strike, removing 100% from the target and stunning them. And then to get those stacks of translation on top of them, so every time C-32 takes a turn, he drops Jin's trenching strike and Kara Dune's AOE to one, so that they can effectively do those attacks every single turn. And, and if you have a higher level of survivability on Kara than, and a little bit more damage output, then you can do a lot more havoc, uh, a lot faster than I did here. In this year old video, I have my people modded wrong and I was just experimenting, but this experiment is, as you can see, viable. Yeah, you're breaking up a lot of good teams by putting Thrawn in here uh, and then C-3PO, but if you just wanna experiment, have some fun, go for it. I deliberately drop every once in a while in Arena to round a rank 1,000 just to do some theory crafting, exploring, and then build my way back up. Um, presently, I'm like top 50 or 60 with my Jedi Master Luke, but that's not fun. That's just daily required fighting. Um, I prefer the theory crafting and stuff, so it's a lot more fun when you drop your rank deliberately. Anyway, so this is the team we just beat. It was not an epic team. Uh, high relics, which is good, but the, the mods are also pretty shabby uh, on the enemy team. So I'm not boasting here trying to say that this is an end-all be-all. It's not. It's just, it's fun, and it's a it's an interesting combination using some a couple Jin and Cara Dune lesser popular tunes. So here, I'll go through and show you my mods now. Um, Jen is a super fast character. C-3PO is super fast, so they can kind of lead the way and get those stacks of translation out there and pass the turn meter over to Cara Dune, who in mine is presently Relic 5 and is a superstar at that level, especially in Grand Arena when you come up against an Empire, a Sith Empire, uh, or when you have to do like the um, Assault Battles Empire. I mean, she, she just crushes it. It's really, really fun. And she's quite good, actually. I find this, this lineup is decent in light side geo battles once you get the high enough relics. Um, I have not been able to clear a full phase four, but I've got through up to phase four with this team. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Um, tell me what you want to see in the comments, and uh, I'll catch you around. See y'all.